Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Ajit Kumar. In this video, we will basically reassuring the virtual machine. Uh, suppose in your environment, you do have a virtual machine deployed and in any case, uh, in any incident, the, uh, people are not able to log into the server and there is some critical data is available on to the database and you want to restore that vm in this video we will discuss we will follow that step how do we can restore our virtual machine so uh, first i will go to this resource group so this is the my vm i am keeping a kept name as a database db uh, okay and here uh, if i go to this disk uh, you can see here uh, I do have only one disk attached here which is OS disk I have not added any data disk here okay and uh, if I go to the backup I do have configured the backup okay so you must have the backup available uh, if you want uh, to create a backup and what are the process you, you want to follow so I will give a link the i section you can go and check that i have already created a different video for that one in this video i will proceed further for that restoration part of virtual machine okay so this is my backup console of this database uh, vm and if i go to the policy here is the backup policy i have created as you can see here in the frequency it is a uh, daily two third 2 30 pm isds it will be great and this this is the retention period of this backup after 30 30 day and this consistency is application or file system consistent so these are the policy i have available if i go here in the job what are the job has deployed what are the uh, backup job has created you can see from here itself so this is the one uh, which is initiated for the configure backup and after that we do have a backup here first it take a snapshot and after that it uh, transfer the data to the vault so these are the jobs we can see from here after one more thing uh, there, there is a restoration point a restore point is available so once you have the backup available once all this uh, backup job completed and uh, that you are, you can able to see the backup available so after that you can see here in the restoration point uh, there is will be a restoration point will be generated will be created and in the, if i go to that restoration point you can see here uh, what of the data disk i mean so what of the disk is uh, it have for our virtual machine we can see here okay so as you can see here 127 of gb and it's a standard lrs this is the one okay so this is the restoration point which we'll be using while restoration of our virtual machine so here in the section you can see here the restoration vm i will click on that restore vm and here i will select that uh, restoration so from here if you want to uh, if you are looking for any specific date or time on that backup got happening and you want to uh, take a backup from there only like uh, uh, from uh, I mean, sir, uh, from last two days you are facing some issues okay and the backup is currently happening so if you want to uh, take a backup two days before I mean sir, uh, if you are looking for a restoration point two days before you can select the date from here and after that select the consistent and here in the consistence we do have like crash consistent application consistent and the file system consistent available 
so we can use that one so in our case we will use that all restoration point and this is the vault a snapshot standard i will use that one and click ok here in the configuration uh, we normally getting a create new one or replacing existing so i will go ahead with that uh, create new one so i want to create a new virtual machine and i um, mean a new configuration so here you can see a uh, message is showing here to create an alternative configuration when restoring your vm use uh, following are the menus okay so i will use that one in the restoration type just uh, if i go to that create new vm it will basically create a new uh, vm for me and if we are looking for data restoration suppose we do have data disk available and we, we want to restore that one so we can use that one restore disk only okay and uh, in my case i am using this one only so i will use that one and i am keeping a name as my first vm is database db and i am trying to create for database db2 and this is subscription this is the resource group this is the network i will use and by default this subnet got executed in the staging location i will use this storage account so you must have create a storage account prior uh, on that basically i will use that one for restoration part okay and after that we just click on restore and see it will start a validation it will start the validating so uh, like now we got a trigger for that one So we'll wait for some time to complete this one. So now I will click on this trigger and it now go to this backup job so i will open that latest backup job which is restoring basically as you can see here in the operation it is calling as a restore i will go ahead to the view details and uh, check that one so as you can see here in the job status job progress one point one percent is completed and calculating the time remaining so we'll wait for a couple of minutes to restore this one okay so finally our restoration got completed so here we can see the start time and the end time and the job process got completed 100 percent and this is the sub task which got completed as well so so here in the job time you can see here uh, recover vm to an alternate location so I will go ahead and do that uh, same resource group and we'll see whether the VM is available or not. So here you can see here we we created uh, we mentioned that VM name DB2 and uh, you can see here the VM is available and it's also having the 
IP and the and let's go to the disk and check yeah this is the same disk we can see here so let's go to for the validation purpose I will go ahead to the Soho and we will use the same username and the password which we used for to login my MD1 the original VM so as you can see here with the same username and the password I can able to log into to this Soho and the disk are available as well so far it looks good let's say validate all the files and what are this uh, application we have installed on this so I mean the previous server it should be there as well so as you can see here this is the application which we have installed on the previous VM and it is available here as well okay and if I go to the control panel control panel here you can see what over the install installation is so whatever the software we have installed earlier is available here as well okay and if I go to that uh, git bash and open this file location you can see here it is available there as well so this is the way we can follow and restore our virtual machine in the next video i will follow the file recovery how do we can recover the file uh, using this uh, daily backup so hope this video is really helpful to you thank you please like and subscribe my channel thank you